my lovelies. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, here we are doing another spell for you guys. Now, I'm sure the majority of you guys are well aware that we are quickly approaching the solar eclipse that we're going to be experiencing here on June the 21st, 2020, which is going to be on Sunday. Um, and like I said, it's a solar eclipse. Um, any eclipses um, have major impacts in our life. Uh, whether you accept that as is or not, um, throughout history, uh, a lot of uproar when it comes to government, when it comes to, um, you know, kingdoms, uh, you know, kings falling and stuff like that is, is if you go back in time, a lot of, a, a lot of these major changes, life changes that are not just on simplistic terms, but have more of a, um, I guess you can say like a worldwide type of uh, effect are very important, which is why eclipses are very major when we're reading or learning to read about our birth charts, our natal charts, stuff like that, because it determines uh, major transitions in our life. Um, so like I said, we're going to be experiencing a solar eclipse on Sunday. And following that, we're going to be entering into a lunar eclipse as well. So a lot, a lot of changes that are happening right now. And um, this Sunday, uh, it's going to begin at 9.15 uh, a.m. here where I'm at, which is in the United States. If you guys are outside the United States, not sure when that's going to happen. Um, I'm sure diff time difference is going to be a factor. So I highly encourage you guys to look that up if you're not aware. Um, and anyways, for those of you guys that are in the United States, um, most ideally, not ideally, sorry, uh, that are in California, then your time zone is the same as mine. Um, so like I said, it's going to begin at 9.15 a.m. and it's going to end at 3.04 p.m. Um, the strongest point or the pivotal moment of the eclipse, which is most visible in the sky, is going to be somewhere between 12... 3 p.m. or 12 10 p.m. which is when you want to um, have everything ready to do this spell now this spell is particularly to remove any blockages any hexes uh, any curses anything like that um, that takes uh, you know solar or astrological events uh, that basically create a portal which happens when we have lunar eclipse or solar eclipse. So this is, I guess you can say this is a spell that is particular to remove very difficult um, either karmic, um, karmic energies that you're dealing with, uh, whether it's, like I said, very strong curses, hexes, stuff like that. Um, it basically takes, like I said, an ast a major astrological event to happen to be able to uh, basically break down uh, that barrier or that that has been put on us um, to be able to break it and banish it. So ideally, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I do get a lot of your emails. And by the way, I want to let you guys know, thank you so much for those of you guys that reach out whether it's for spell work whether it is for readings whether it's for any services my soap line my shop anything i thank you guys so very much we have been i think because of everything that's happening worldwide right now there is a lot of you know a lot of people really wanting to connect with their spiritual side and wanting to um become more aware and i think this is something that you know on a subconscious level, uh, once you're able to, you know, once we were able to see uh, very chaotic type of events, uh, it brings us closer um, to our spiritual nature. So I think that, uh, anyways, I'm blobbing off. But my point to this is thank you guys very much for being patient. We are extremely going through this uh, very heavy <laughs> wave of spell work, of castings, of, you know, uh, consultations of just thank you guys so very much and thank you guys above all for being extremely patient 
I know that a lot of you guys, you know, you guys are extremely patient. I know some of you guys, some of you antsy Nancy ones. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that I truly appreciate you guys. And thank you for being patient. We are trying to get through all of our thousands of DMs and Snapchats and messages and anything on social media. Um, hang tight, you guys. I know sometimes it's difficult and a lot of you guys are like, well, this is an emergency. I want you guys to know that every client that I pick up to me is an emergency and I make them a priority. And, and so as well, uh, to those of you guys that are wanting to become clients as well, just, you know, like I said, be patient. Um, just wanted to put it out there. Anyways, I made this whole intro extremely long, but the point of this is basically to educate you to why we're doing this type of spell work, okay? So like I said, if you feel like you've been going through difficulties or you just haven't had any luck or you're blocked or if you're aware or not aware that you may be dealing or caring with um, curses, family curses, uh, hexes, jealousy, envy, all of that, this is going to take care of it. <laughs> so what you're going to need, let's get into the ingredients. Now, as you guys can see here, we have a calderone. Um, ideally, you would use a calderone for safety purposes. If you don't have that, just make sure that because we are going to be burning a cloth. So just make sure to use something that is similar uh, and that is um, that you're being safe, basically. OK, with that being said, um, we're going to be needing a cloth. Now, this could be any color cloth. It could be extremely old cloth. It doesn't have to be a new one. Ideally, if it's old, it's better. Um, so we're going to be using this cloth here. And you're also going to be needing devil's string. Now, shoestring, sorry. Now, I know this is something that perhaps for some of you guys is not very easy to take hold or to find depending on where you're at or which part of the country you're in. Um, it's not very... I want to say throughout my <clears throat> 16 years of doing this, I think I've only came across two shops that sold this. And um, so now I have a specific person that I get all my stuff from. But anyways, I know it's not going to be very easy for some of you guys. It's extremely easy. Uh, maybe you're in a part of the world that, you know, um, doesn't have issues with this. But anyways, just keep in mind, if you do not have devil shoestring or if you can get your hands on it, it's absolutely OK. Uh, you don't necessarily need it to be able to do this spell now. Why do it, I advise Devil's uh, Shoestring? Because it is extremely powerful. It is extremely um, protective. So I'm going to show you guys what to do in the process. But my point to this is once this is done, right, and you start to see progress, you start to see movement, and you start to do great and everything, that's fine and dandy. But Unfortunately, sometimes we have people that just like to fuck with us and, you know, just go out of their way to make other people's life miserable like their own. So when we do this type of work, you hold on to that piece of devil's shoestring. So in the future, should you feel to do another cleanse like this, let's say within two, three years, as once you do this, you will be set. You don't need no egg cleansings. You don't need none of that. Um, like I said, every three years, perhaps do a cleansing again. But anyways, my point to this is you keep this as safekeeping and you can continuously keep using it when doing this type of spell work and it just empowers and grows um, the more you use it. So that's my point to that, okay? Like I said, if you can't find it, it's absolutely okay. Now, we're also going to be needing some five-finger grass. I've already explained to you guys in previous um videos five finger grass is a very powerful ingredient that we use for abundance for success um for triumphant spells now the reasoning behind the five finger grass um that's why it's called five finger grass because potentially you're able to grasp or it's easier for you to grasp whether it's success whether it's abundance whether it's love whatever it may be 
um, it makes it that much easier. It removes any blockages and it's also considered a blessing herb. So again, it brings blessings with it. We're also going to be using rosemary. As you guys know, rosemary is extremely uh, purifying type of herb, uh, cleansing as well. And we're also going to be using rue. Um, as you guys know, I don't have to explain the power behind rue. If you practice or if you're a practitioner or if you're just from land descent, Hispanic, etc., I'm sure you know the power behind rue. So that's what we're going to be using. Very protective, very cleansing, um, very transformative type of herb as well. All right, so we're also going to be using some, um, we're going to be using some, um, I can't think, Florida water, sorry. Just <laughs> some Florida water, very purative type of water that we're going to be using to amplify this, to strengthen the power. And we're also going to be using spirit powder. Now, for some of you guys that may not be aware or never worked with spirit powder, again, this is a powder that you can use. Is it something that you need to do the spell work? No, it's not. But if you really want to amp it, especially those of you guys that feel like you've been cursed or you're hanging on uh, this dark cloud above you, definitely use spirit powder. Now, the reason for that is because we are going to be using what we call um, the spirits, los, los espíritus del aire, which is uh, spirits of air. Now, spirits of air to us is something that is very known, especially for those of you guys that travel or those of you guys that deal with a lot of people at work, stuff like that. It's basically what people send your way, uh, kind of like when people are talking bad about you behind your back that's what they call spirits of air so when you do a cleansing and let's just say the a comes out a certain way um by me looking at it i can tell if you're carrying a lot of um espiritus de aire which is spirits of air um which then turns into basically anything that people come from or come for you from the back uh, that is unbeknownst to you curses hexes, anything like that that is unbeknownst to you. So that's why we're going to be using these spirits of air with this as well. So that's why we're using spirit powder because we are essentially going to be working with spirits. Okay. All right. So let's get into the nitty gritty. I apologize for this long ass intro, but I did want to uh, not just show you guys how to do it, but also show you guys why you would do something like this and the power that it holds behind it as well. Like I said, if you do this, whether it's on a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse, you probably won't need a cleansing after three years, you know, probably longer. So, um, all right, let's get into it. So I'm going to put this to the side very quickly. Give me one second. And as you guys can tell, this is an extremely old caldron. <laughs> I have like four different sizes, um, but this by far is the oldest, as you guys can see some of the cracks here. I've had it for about a good 10, 11 years. Um, but anyways, let me put this to the side real quick, as this is something we're going to use at the very end. <clears throat> what we have here is basically you're going to need a bowl, any type of bowl where you're going to be able to put some water as well as the Florida water that we have here. So give me one second while I go get the jug of water. All right, my lovelies, the most important ingredient for this is going to be water. Um, obviously, water is a purifying, let me put this, is a very purifying ingredient. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get some of the Florida water. And we're going to add some in the plate or bowl and what you're going to do is basically you're going to rub it around the bowl and you're going to say out loud I call upon whatever deity you work with I call upon my spirit guides my uh, archangels I call upon San Simon, San Simon to be present here and this cleansing that I am preparing, this ritual that I am preparing in order to cut the cords, in order to banish, in order to 
completely demolish and destroy any blockages that I may be dealing with at this present time. Any hexes, any curses, any jealousy, any envy that has been sent my way. All right. So once we do that, it smells unbelievable. All right. Once we do that, we're going to pour in some of the water. Now we're going to begin adding some of the ingredients. We're gonna be adding the five finger grass. Okay. We're gonna be adding some of the rosemary here. Some of the rosemary and the more you're adding these ingredients you're going to start it's this very strong scent this very powerful scent I wish you guys can smell it it smells amazing now we're gonna be adding some of the roux Now, I'm going to be introducing some of my herbs. Um, these are herbs that I do for those of you guys that have purchased my road opener soap. Uh, these are some of the herbs that go into that soap, uh, which is specifically to remove, uh, to break, uh, to remove blockages, uh, to be able to uh, alter or raise your vibration, um, and basically what... Uh, the road opener carries and as you guys can see here we have powdered herbs uh, that I use specifically for that as well as some eggshell uh, eggshells that are powdered now if you don't obviously um, if you guys don't have these basically the powder that I sell for road openers and the powder that goes into my soaps the road opener soap then what you can do is you can get some um, some eggshells and basically powder them and introduce that into this um into this concoction uh you know eggshells are very powerful very strong for protection spells uh for removing curses for uh road openers all of that it is extremely powerful so i highly encourage you guys to do that if you don't know how to do that all you would need to do is just get a regular egg um don't discard them obviously cook them do what you have to do but keep uh, keep the shells and then you pretty much put them outside let them dry and then you basically just powder them whether either with the mortar or if you have like a coffee grinder like we use here with the herbs then you can use that as well and basically just powder it that's what you're doing okay so i'm going to be introducing that here All right, and what you're gonna do now is we're gonna introduce some of the spirit powder. You do not need very much, you guys. Very little is necessary. You guys already know spirit powder is extremely explosive. All right, so what we're gonna do now is you're going to Basically introduce your hand into this concoction, okay? And you can start to smell all of the herbs that go into this uh, with the Florida water and the water. It really, you can, you can smell it. It smells amazing, you guys. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to say, I go around, round, and round. I call upon 
the spirits of the wind to be present. Anything that has been sent my way, whether it is on a conscious or subconscious level, I ask you to remove. I ask you to please step forward and assist me in the blessing and consecration of this potion. Let this be the knife. Let this be the knife that breaks through any curses, any hexes, any envy, any jealousy, any blockages, whether it be on a physical, spiritual, or mental. I ask the spirits to be present, to empower, to put energy in removing this and banishing it completely moving forward and from here on out. All right? So once we do that, give me one second while I clean myself here. Now it's going to get messy. If it's not messy, it's not fun. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the devil's shoestring. Let's see. You just need a small... Okay, I'm going to use this one. And what you're going to do now is you're going to bless it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this devil's shoestring so that it may be empowered, so that it may assist me. Grant me the cutting of cords. Grant me the removal and banishment of hexes, jealousy, curses, whether it be through lineage, through bloodline, through association. I remove it now. Spirits, please be present. Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're just going to leave it like that. All right. And what you're going to do is make sure to prepare. If you're doing this for, let's say, Sunday, which is the solar eclipse, if you know, <clears throat> as an example, if you're in California, you know that it's going to start between 9 and it's going to end at 3. Ideally, you would prepare this sometime between 9 to 11. Because you're going to let it sit for a good hour and a half before actually using it. Okay? So, you're going to let it sit for a while. Let's say that it is at the climax of the eclipse. Let's say it would, you're in California and you're going to do this at 12. So, you have everything ready and you're set to go. What you're going to do now is... What you're going to do now is you're going to put your hands over this and you're going to say, Today, at the moment of the solar eclipse, I cast out the power of curses, hexes, jealousy, blockages from my life. Chaos has weathered and died. It no longer has authority over me. As the sun reemerges, I call in and you're going to say whatever deity you're working with. As an example, <clears throat> I'm going to say, let me redo this so you guys can hear it clearly. Today, at the moment of the solar eclipse, I cast out the power of curses, hexes, jealousy, blockages from my life. Chaos has weathered and died. It no longer has authority over me. As the sun reemerges, I call upon Saint Simon, San Simon. <clears throat> By your power, you are now my guided star. You are now my guiding star and protective and protective saint. I call upon you and as a demonstration, and here is where you're going to say whatever it is you're offering. As a demonstration, I promise you uh, to offer you your candles and your cigar, um, your tequila. Whatever it is for whoever deity you're doing this, if you're doing this as an example, you say in Jesus' name, right? And you would say, um, I call in the power of Jesus Christ and, you know, I promise to, I don't know, as soon as the church is open to go and go to two or three masses or something like that. So basically use common sense. You are Basically, what you're doing is you're asking for their power to step in and to break whatever 
you know, you've been carrying whatever you've been dealing with. But as a result of that, you're also giving a promise. Make sure to fulfill that promise, you guys. I can't stress that enough. Should you not fulfill that promise, then just know that you're dealing with those consequences. Um, we are nothing in this life if not our word. So again, keep that especially in the practice, you guys. You have to take this very seriously. And, you know, once you start to see life progressing a little bit better, more movement, etc., you know, basically honor your promise is what I'm saying. Okay, so once that is said, you're going to say, this truth I commit myself and I promise, and that's where you're going to do your promise, whatever it is that you're promising, as I will it, so it be, so let me be and let me see, okay? Very simple. Now, once that is done, once you have uh, basically charged and prepared and empowered and ignited this spell, what you're going to do is you're going to step outside. Um, like I said, if you're in California time, the basically climax of the solar eclipse is going to be at 12, between 12.03 um, and 12.10. So just make sure to have your bowl. Just make sure to be out there. If you're a woman, wear a white, you know, it could be a, 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 you know, like a sunny dress or whatnot, but make sure that it has white in some capacity. If you're a man, then ideally... Uh, wear shorts because obviously you're going to need to rub this all over your body um, but make sure to wear uh, whether it be like a muscle shirt or some you know white shorts whatever but make sure to integrate white in your clothes because what you're doing is you're going to be cleansing yourself and basically once you cleanse yourself white is a protective and a shield so that's the reason why we wear uh, white in certain rituals and ceremonies. This is done actually in a ritual. So again, keep that in mind. So once you once you do that, you take this outside, let's say you put it by, um, by a table where the sun is at, etc. Don't look obviously to the, <laughs> don't look at the sun directly. Obviously you guys use common sense. What you're going to do is once you're ready, what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you're going to put some of, or you're going to put the cloth in the water and you're going to basically wet it with the herbs and everything and you're going to start rubbing yourself, okay? You're going to rub yourself all around, uh, even if you're wearing, um, for women, you know, obviously, ideally, you guys, ideally, you do this nude. Um, so if you have your own home and your own privacy and your neighbors are not nosy, um, like it happened to me a couple of years ago. <laughs> oh my goodness, the stories I have, you guys. Anyways, ideally you actually do this in the nude. And uh, like I said, if you have privacy in your own home, then obviously you you could do that. Uh, it actually empowers, you're empowering it because you're actually doing the steps of what we do when we're doing rituals. Um, so if you are in the privacy of your own home, then... You don't wear clothes. You're naked. Uh, but make sure to have like a white dress that you can put if you're a woman. And if you're a man, white shorts or a white tank top that you can put once you've cleansed yourself. Okay, so what you do is basically you dab it in the bowl. You start rubbing it all around you, all over your body, you know, from basically from head to toe. Once you do that, make sure to finish completely the water okay like i said make sure to fully you know wet yourself all over make sure to get as much as possible and don't forget obviously your back you're going to be rubbing it in your back as well um, your bums whatever all the way down once you're done then you're going to get the cloth right it's wet it's submerged it's rubbed all over you so then that's when you would dress or when you would put your white. If you're a woman, you would put your white dress. If you're a guy, you would put your white muscle shirt and white shorts, etc. Once you do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to get the cloth and that's when you use the calderone or, you know, any type of uh, 
anything that you can use basically to burn. Now, I do not suggest you guys to burn this in your like barbecue grill or whatever, because what you're doing is once you cleanse yourself with this, you are basically all the all the gunk, all the bad energy, all remember some of you guys may be dealing with you know hexes curses stuff like that it's all going to be transmitted into this cloth so you don't want to burn this in your barbecue grill unless you're planning on throwing it away but if you're not make sure to get yourself either a calderone or some type of um I don't know, some type of skillet, some type of olla where you can just throw it in there, burn it, and make sure to throw the olla out when you're no longer using it. All right? Basically, you need to burn this. So once you're done with this, you're going to then toss this in your calderone. So once you're done with this, you're going to, you know, this is going to be dirty. You're going to toss it in your calderone, and you're going to burn it. Now, once it's burned... If anything is remaining, you're going to throw that in the trash and toss it away. Now, the bowl, always make sure to stick with certain things. As an example, if you're using this bowl for cleansings, make sure to use it specifically for cleansings, not for love, etc. If you use, you know, just use common sense, you guys. Um, once this is done, you can wash this off. Make sure not to jump in the shower once this is done, you have to walk around or basically uh, air dry yourself for the next, I would suggest for the next hour. So, you know, if you don't want to go in in your home and because you're going to have herbs and all over you um, and you don't want to dirty your house, your kitchen, whatever, your sofas, then sit out there and enjoy the eclipse. Uh, relax and, and just know without a doubt that you have been cleansed, that you have been completely purged and that you have basically been reborn. Once that is done and you've sat out there, you know, for about an hour or so, then you're free to go inside and shower. Uh, do not use any type of soap unless you have uh, cleansing soaps, um, road opener soaps, anything like that. But if you don't have none of that, then do not, basically do not shower for that day because you don't want to disturb the work that you just did. So like I said, you're free to jump in the shower and just cleanse yourself with water. Um, and after that, then you would just go to your normal routine after that. But just for this one day, make sure to stay completely clean, okay? I know this was a very long uh, video. I try to make my videos short. <laughs> I know that's not always the case, but I do try to like basically cramp in as much information as I possibly can to make it easier for you guys to understand and to take you guys through each step so you guys don't feel confused or don't feel like you have to rush. Watch this video as many times as you need so that you can get it. Um, and again, you know, just don't go into this cleansing with anxiety or with worry or with stress. So my advice to you is basically prepare yourself make sure you have this ready to go uh, when the eclipse happens whether it be the solar or whether you're doing this for the lunar eclipse whatever you may feel more comfortable with um, like I said have everything ready to go for some of you guys because this is going to start at nine in the morning maybe for some of you guys you want to do this overnight that way you have everything basically set to go for the morning you don't feel like you're in a rush or anything like that okay like I said, if you guys try this, I guarantee you're not going to be needing any cleansings for the next two, three years. Um, and you're going to see a lot of incredible movement and progress in your life, perhaps even in places where you feel like you've been stuck for quite a while, whether it be in finances, love or health. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys try it out. You're going to be amazed and definitely comment below. Let me know your experience. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if there was any fuck ups. <laughs> um, I think that when we learn it, it, you know, I always tell everyone, be patient with yourself. Uh, it takes, you know, years and years to learn. Um, and we continuously keep learning. It's not something that we just stop, you know, you're always evolving. It's very important to do that. Um, 
but the the funniest things are usually when we're in a hurry or when you're first starting that you get nervous and there's mishaps and stuff like that don't take it as i messed up or now i have to redo everything all over again believe it or not spirits actually laugh um or joke about it later on or they'll let you know that you know they'll remind you of those funny moments so take it in stride you know with a grain of salt and keep pushing forward i wish you guys the very best i love you guys and um pride pride month <laughs> i send you guys all my love and uh we'll see each other soon bye